Alright guys, so on today's video we are going to be taking apart a ThinkPad T430 to replace its motherboard. This process will also be similar for T410 and T420 models. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that power has been turned off and disconnected from the computer. Then there are these two screws here on the bottom holding the RAM door in place. So you're going to want to remove those. And then there are two more screws you're going to have to remove in order to remove the keyboard. Next, you slide the keyboard up and then pull it out to remove it. Make sure to disconnect the ribbon cable from the motherboard in the process, and try not to damage it. Then you can set it off to the side and continue with the disassembly. Next, there are five screws on the bottom of the computer that hold the palm rest in place. Then there are two more little screws holding the palm rest in place from the top. Once you've removed those, you're going to have to pry the palm rest out because it's held in by snaps. Sometimes I can just do this with my fingernails, other times it requires a little bit of help from a tool. Try not to damage the plastic casing in the process. Make sure to disconnect the ribbon cable underneath the palm rest that connects the touchpad and fingerprint reader to the motherboard. After this you should be able to just lift the palm rest out of place. Now it's time to disconnect the Wi-Fi antenna cables. There's two connected to the Wi-Fi card, and then there's a few more that lead into the bottom part of the computer. Just disconnect them from the Wi-Fi card, and then just route the rest out of the computer. Next, you're going to want to remove this screw here that's holding the video cable in place. Lift up the little metal piece, and then lift the ribbon cable that connects to the screen. Next, you're going to want to remove the cables from the routing that goes by the fan. I forgot to mention there's also an additional ribbon cable on the other side of the display. After all the cables connecting to the LCD screen have been undone, there are two screws here on the top of the computer that you will remove in order to remove the hinges, which connects the screen assembly to the rest of the computer. Once these two screws are out, there are two more screws on the bottom of the computer. They should be the only two left. Once all the screws are removed, the display assembly should come right out of the rest of the chassis. You should be able to disconnect it easily and set it off to the side for later. Next, we need to remove the speakers. There's one screw holding each of them in. Once you've unscrewed the speakers, you should be able to remove them from the routing and disconnect the cable. There are four screws holding the heatsink in place over the processor. Once you've taken those screws out and removed the fan cable, you should be able to lift the entire heatsink out. Just make sure when you put this heatsink back on later to apply new thermal paste. Unlock the processor from the socket and then remove it. Be gentle with it and don't touch the contacts. Store it in a safe place. Next, you will need to remove this screw that's holding the wireless card in place. Once it comes out, the wireless card will come out with it. Next, disconnect the power connector from the motherboard. I love this design since if the power jack gets damaged, it's easy to replace. There's this one screw here on the bottom that you will need to remove. Next, there are four screws here on the bottom part of the chassis that you will need to remove. These screws, along with two more on the top part of the computer, one here and one here, Hold the bottom of the computer to the roll cage in which the motherboard is housed. Once you remove these screws, the bottom casing will lift from the rest of the chassis, and you just have the motherboard and the roll cage left over. Next, there's screws here, 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 and here that you will need to remove. Once these screws are removed, you should be able to remove the motherboard. Then you can get your new motherboard.